Hello everybody, thank you for joining me with part 2 of the Mongol Empire campaign let's play. Here today we're actually going to continue where we left off, sort of like two or three turns ahead of where we left off, I suppose. So, uh, you knew that. Of course we have a nice army right now, we have a couple of uh, really good ones. Uh, what I do notice though, we cannot change any of these army setups up, because that will mean that their, um, uh, their upkeep cost upkeep cost will actually change so we cannot do that Thirsty for battle. so yeah we have to remember that to the very least and we actually have to give these guys a little bit more of a rating otherwise yeah but I'm actually I'm going to test something out um, so I will pause it because I'm not sure Let's save it for a second. Uh, I'm not sure what will happen if we Let now give it to uh, to to him, because I hope that happens. Uh, yeah, I thought that. Damn it, we cannot gift it. <gasps> oh, yeah, okay, we cannot. So we cannot gift it because that will mean we will be uh, leaving ourselves that territory. So we actually can't do it. That's definitely unfortunate. I suppose For the tribe. because yeah that Warriors will mean that we just uh, can never become a really empire I suppose we could do it if we would basically disband all the armies of these guys because there is not really any other way we can otherwise like this afford that uh, or be able to Ready only to use those these factions basically so yeah, that's Warriors definitely a bit unfortunate, all. but like, Warriors all. we cannot have everything. As you can see though, we do have a lot of people. I will adopt uh, Jebe to become uh, one of our sons of the Empire. Okay. Fortunately though, we have another... Uh, Annoying uh, guy down here. Oh, what? thirsty for battle. Oh, it's well, because we. Oh, no, you cannot attack. We have to do attacks in one turn. I would love to give it to you. Actually, I will just sack it, and I guess you will be able to take it at some point, right? Right? I hope so. Lamentation of their women. On the move, lads. Alright, here we go. A little bit of replenishment isn't too bad. But yeah, that's unfortunate that we cannot uh, really do much else. Oh, we'll have to send her up. How can I assist There's actually a man, actually, because he cool. sounds like a man. Uh, we're also going to attack this city. I forgot that tribe. previous turn, but it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, we could do it if we would be playing with um, uh, only the, the Horde faction that we were given, basically. So, I'm not sure if I should do that. It would, of course, allow me to basically all get all the sack income for myself. It will allow me, though, yeah, that is definitely something to be um, thinking of. Tribe. As an option, of course. Ah... Uh, it will basically give me all three armies, but it's certainly a really good option, if you're honest. It will help me out a whole load. For the tribe. So yeah, that's something to be think of. Um, I will decide on that in the next uh, the next episode. So let me know in the comments on what I should do with that. Should we uh, basically destroy uh, those? other cities and uh, basically start on our way. Besieging settlement. raise the city to the ground very good replenishment is needed or are we going to destroy all of those in theory it is a better option but if I'm honest uh, especially with these guys down here causing the havoc to the uh, cities, it is definitely something we should think of. They hate me now, I suppose. Yep, 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 yep. Against the Karasmians. Mm -hmm. 
they're also almost dead. We'll, we'll go after Hormuz and then we'll push down towards the, the city of Kerma. I hope these ones just take this one out if possible. If they're not, we'll, we'll destroy that next Ready turn. Uh, yes, actually, let's uh, get that uh, commerce thing down. Yeah, let's get the food. Why not? Uh, For the tribe. In commerce. Alright, yeah, it will cost a little bit of money, but in the end, I think it will, in the long run, it will be more because these guys are never needing to raid, basically. So, I suppose that's a little bit better. But uh, let's end turn again. Alright, good. Um, so, yeah, this is also pre recorded, so I won't see the reaction just yet for the, from the previous episode, but. Uh, I must say, getting I'm getting a little bit sick of this guy. <laughs> He's been annoying. Oh, he did upgrade though. So I guess um, for the tribe. Getting on our way. Get moving. For the tribe. Oh my god, even with one army, we're able to do it. Very good. For the Aim as well. Ready for battle. Let them scour before us, laying siege to the thirsty for battle. All right, let's push down. And attack him again! Ooh. I hope we get some uh, battles soon. Because right now, fighting these sieges is not, not a good thing. Oh no! No! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's certainly a little bit annoying. Oh. Not good, not good. Oof. Ready for battle. Get on our way. Mm -hmm. Warriors all. Get moving. For At least have like enough food all the time. So I says that's decent enough. Ready for orders. Warriors all. Alright, uh uh pastoring herd. Mm, put me ground shop. Greetings, my friends. Greetings. I seem to be anticipating. Uh, would like, would like to have them some sort of specialized. But yeah, I suppose we could do that if we would want to uh, go that route. But uh, again, let me know in the next episode. So I uh, let me know in the comments below what I should do in that regard. Uh, because I would like to give these territories instead of raising the new ground to my vassals, but. Losing all of this is now not really something I um, I really would want. Oh, we can actually not build a uh, a trebuchet. So, oh, really? I actually didn't notice that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. That is a pity. We can actually not even build that. I also do also think that we should not really start uh, building that much territory anymore, or at least uh, building up our. Uh, our hordes 
but uh, that's for then. Let's enter it. Okay then, here we go. Uh, uh, block it because otherwise there will be uh, political favors, of course. Political favors. Very good. Uh, we'll center up more forward. We already see the, the principality of Antioch. For the tribe! Ready for orders. Besieging settlement. Let them scour before us. That's unfortunate. All right. I, I'll take a head home for my children. Good. Ready for battle. I got rid of that in the short. For the tribe. Ready for orders. On the move, lads. For the tribe. Let them cower before us. Thirsty for battle. Get moving. All right, attack this city. <clears throat> Escape. Thing is, we only need to destroy two more sediments of theirs because um, I won't actually. Because I'm not sure he will make it. Uh, he might be attacked alone, so I'm not going to siege this guy out. Uh, because I only need one more sediment, these guys will stay at war with one another forever because that's just the way how it is. Oh, these are actually pretenders! Oh, hello! The pleasures of my oh, we cannot make you a vassal you? state, that's unfortunate. Okay, so we have like one settlement left. Peace really. No, no, really. I understand. But what we are going to do is, um... We're actually going to make, uh, Them their vassals. We still have to destroy this though, because it will sort of make them too much of a resentment. Oh, but they're being attacked by the uh, pretenders. And, uh, okay. Hopefully they will attack it. Um, that's nice. Very good. Okay, over here we have somebody who's in the golden upgrade. Thirsty for battle. For the tribe. Very well. Alright, anybody who has enough of this to become one of those? Nope. Okay then, over here though, we have to move forward. Thirsty for battle. Starting out. Oh, look at this! Hello! Ready. Hello, Ready people of our tribe who have taken Let's out some it. of the human territory. For the tribe. Oh On no. The move, lads. Yeah, they actually have. <laughs> Curious. Look at that, these guys are expanding. We have need of talk, I'm Ah. Alright. So that really doesn't really matter to us. But there's more that we can actually can invade um, from this road. I might attack them as well, just to help out our allies to be honest. At some point, I'm not sure what we'll do with those hordes down there. They will be scattering across the world I am the for a while, I suppose. Uh, no, I don't want to be spending any money for me on those. All right, when the turn then, I suppose you should be then actually still raiding. Uh, yeah, actually go for some replenishment. Alright, so with them having two more settlements, basically this means what I want to go and do is basically take this guy out. Uh, what this settlement or that settlement, I don't really know, don't really matter which. Uh, I will just attack this one 
and then we'll um, this is the last th that will be their last sediment and we will be able to segregate both of these basically but it's hopefully the hope for me the door is open to you and I might just be able to get some the gold out of this speak. before we make them a vassal really dude you're that against it All right, a little bit of gold these guys will still want to destroy this to sort of make a barrier between these two because I don't want them to slaughter one another what might happen because we cannot force vassals to uh, uh, be at peace with one another but it's kind of annoying to be honest but all right fine I don't really mind it we'll just push forward and we'll see what happens okay let's enter oh uh, well here we got something a pretender to the throne, Kingdom of England. The Pope has nominated a pretender to the Imperial throne, thus challenging the right of the current Emperor to rule the Holy Roman Emperor. Oh my god. What? Aid him, really? Totally. Okay then, fine, those are the For the tribe Let them cower before us. I actually have to attack, let him attack. Otherwise we won't actually do it. Uh, yes, moving! I will raise it though. Yeah, there we go. Warriors all. Be destroyed. Starting out for the tribe. Ready yeah, mate, battle. attack the city, I help ya. <laughs> I actually I will, funny enough. Oh, look at that, with everybody in sort of horde mode, we will be able to, uh... Very well, good. And you as well. And then we'll go towards our own peeps. He can battle. also upgrade his army very well. Oh, definitely more damage. Very nice. Okay, good. Um, what we now have to do is go to these ones. For the tribe. And uh, make some base these requests. Can we do that with uh, this? Faster. Nope. Damn you all. Not happening. Okay, for well, fine. Don't really matter too much. Oh, you can already. On the move, lads. For the tribe. Yeah, I'm not going after these guys. I will let them deal with them. We will go after the humans and uh, attack trays in the rest of the world down from this side. But yeah, I'm not going to spend any more money though. How can I assist you? I must let my mind be still. How old is my son? Thirteen. Right then, let's enter. In. Well, here we go. Uh, we sort of. Mm, ah, sure. Although it really wouldn't really matter, and now think of it. Traveling on silent wings. Okay. What? Okay, that's a weird one. Yeah, this is a Nick Sharkrabs. Be welcome. Alright then, there we go. Let's uh, 
destroy this last segment. I actually was planning on uh, helping out with this siege. I did, I tried to, but uh, yeah, the pretenders didn't really have anything of an army and the garrison was actually too good, so I couldn't really attack them this turn. So that's certainly a bit unfortunate, but I guess not much to do around that. We'll raise this to the ground. And we will capture the last settlement of the Karasmian Empire the now. Totally the second. We'll do the such a thing, but without any or any losses. Warriors all. You have further orders? And they will hate us to our guts, but th again, we can again at some point subjugate actually these guys, annex them. So yeah. Ready for battle. Oh, camels. Why not? <laughs> Something different. Ready for orders. And of course, Thirsty we are now no longer. At war with for the most tribe. of the people around us. Ready for battle. Move out. Actually, Ready. we basically Ready. now have this uh, on our, our land. They are also our vassals. I guess they will hate us for the a moment. <laughs> I am the destroyer of hell. You have my sword. Yeah, these guys will hate us for a long while because of the attacks. This guy will also hate us for a while, might never re be repaired, but who knows, right? To put it. I would like it so much if he could force vassals to make peace. Please accept as a most humble audience. No, no fit peace, it is. No. No vassalage. We'll be helping out our vassal though. Oh no 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 no! I'm not going to do that anymore. That's a no no no. Ready for orders. I don't care how tired you are. Get on our way. For the tribe. Okay, good. We're also making a little bit of money. These guys are not yet able to move forward. Really? Starting out. No, they are perfect, and they also Ready together. So that's fine. But let's in turn again. I am actually hoping I get a battle, but to be honest, I don't think we will. I'm very sure of that. But uh, the real belt, I think, will come here in this territory. Uh, I will declare war upon them by behalf on. I will join your war against the Zenic Zagragans. Um. Oh yeah, sure. The Abbasid Caliphate. No, you need to give me money for it, eh? Yes, 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 yes. Money. Thousand for them. Okay, sure. And you? Do not try my patience with a dull tongue. That hadn't happening then. Uh, you join the war. I guess you might hate me. Yeah, you really hate me too much to do that. Alright then. Uh, I think I don't really need to do much else. We just have to send these guys up quickly. To be able to uh, really do anything with them. So we'll leave it as it is. Let's send turn again. Here we go. Let's go and uh, take the city. I suppose. But I need to get another army for that, of course. Ready for orders. For the tribe. Let them cower before us. Laying siege to their hovel. Because of course we need to do that. Move out. We will hear the lamentation of their women. Okay. <laughs> oh, but I would love to give it to my vassals. But I can't. Unfortunately. I cannot. Ready for orders. 
That will be another race. Ready for battle. Thirsty for battle. Actually, I'm curious. What kind of uh, interesting vassal units can we get here again? Show me else. All right. Oh, yes, certainly. We also were able to get some guns, actually, funny enough, so not bad. Thirsty for battle. Ready for battle. Mm, everybody here is in raid mode. Right then, over here. Warriors all. We could have got here joined with the other ones, but no, we are going, guys, against. The Kipchaks, who are down here. Now I'm thinking of that. Ready for battle. I really have to remember that these guys do have lesser range. Alright, it doesn't matter too much. But uh, we'll enter in again, and I have something planned for you guys. So, uh, I'll be back in a second. Well, here we are, the Battle of Parvazan. Uh, yeah, that is sort of the battle I thought, well, no, why not? We have not really had a battle, and we sort of crushed the uh, Karazantium Empire in this episode. I thought, let's play one uh, final climactic battle between the forces of the Karazant mine and the forces of the Mongol Empire. It's definitely a better army than we would have normally field. We are at number though, we also have a Kulzar. Followed a foot soldiers in this one a bit different than normal, but we still have something. Um, as we can see here, this is our force advising against the off against this. And uh, as you can see, this is the balance of our army. We are definitely outnumbered around a thousand men. We are sending out our uh, large cavalry horse archer force uh, forward to uh, try and fight this battle on our behalf, of course. That should be fine. We're going to normal speed now. And here we go. The plains of the Middle East. The battle that will decide the fate for the Middle East for at least for now. The Karasmian Empire versus the Mongol Empire. I must say that looks absolutely awesome. <laughs> They're also going after us, trying to uh, pursue the, the horse archers, of course, as always. And they almost are able to catch them, almost though, <laughs> but are just able to get away. And from the side, a uh, Mongol horse chart is coming around. Heavily armored um, Garasmian horses being charged into the mix and being blocked up a little, and the uh, Mongol uh, fighting force still can guards for the general who faces the battlefield. Well, uh, some horse archers are being pursued by heavy cavalry. Right now, as you can see, some really heavy Garasmian uh, cavalry belts. They're also being shot at, though, so. As we can see, more things have happened. There's definitely a uh, bloodbath going on here, main battle. As we can see here, between the Mongols and the uh, Karasmian heavy horse, the main horse body. And over here, it seems like the uh, Karasmian eager are following the uh, Mongols at the uh, foot of the hill, but 
the Hong Bungles do try and uh, attack them now again. No. Fire enemy getting attacked in the, uh, the rear. And getting fully swarmed. In the back, one of the uh, Mongol horses has caused disarray, although sacrificing themselves in the process, but still killing a lot of uh, Karasman foot soldiers and archers to help out with their own, uh, help their people out, as we can see here. Although, they do get uh, routed. And the horse archers of the Mongols are also shooting, although these are actually Karasmin horse archers shooting from the back of the horses, trying to uh, uh, fight this blob of Mongol horses that seems to have been victorious against the in the fight. As we can see. And uh, over here, a, a group of melee units is being routed, and the Mongol horse archers are retreating to the battlefield, shooting at camels who are being absolutely butchered here today and uh, yeah overall not too bad we're also seeing the Karashman more heavy archers firing trying to uh, support their recovery line although they are being very heavily attacked and there are also attacks right now by the uh, recovery as well and we're also seeing the uh, form of so some yeah I suppose the uh, Karasmian uh, foods and men are trying to advance them on the line, although they're alone, so they possibly will be out, uh, outnumbered. And uh, one of them is seeing that and is retreating, but they are also now being charged by the Mongol infantry. Mongol allied uh, infantry, though, that must be said. And now the Mongol forces are also advancing into the Karasmian. Uh, line there is mostly no cohesion now the mongols are our whole side are getting fully loosed on their enemy surrounding them and harrying them with archer volleys all the way around not bad the, uh, that's definitely happening and the more uh, elite uh, forces are trying to hold their cohesion together with their big axes but in the end they are still being outnumbered right now the mongols are enveloping their foes as we can see here the uh, heavy hills also charts in some of their archers being supported by some heavy infantry and there's definitely a surround going on as we can see in the battle most of the horse archers again are still firing around shooting at their foes from all the flanks and also the victorious uh, all that also are retreating and still the cavalry are also being attacked and setting up but they're still being attacked by spears so they are getting a little bit of casualties as we can see overall the mongols are definitely destroying their foe at the moment and just overall having the element of yeah maneuverability in their hands and uh with the breaking of the cavalry the Karasmians have lost any scent of cohesency and also the mongol archers are also shooting uh, their foes in the back. Although they're not really Mongol, they're allies and most of the infantry are allies of course. So allied of the Mongol Empire. Uh, I think it was the Kurtarm Gaknatid, I'm not too sure again how that's called, but uh, Yeah, there is definitely a little blood buff blood buff going on. The Russians are definitely starting to Yeah, to retreat some of the forces. And they're being harassed by the Mongol forces over here, getting even charged, seeing uh, them in destruction, as we can see, being charged in the rear, with Mongol uh, horses in the back as well. And even more Mongol horse archers are trying to uh, attack their foes at the moment. But yeah! Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little sort of replay battle. I thought, yeah, we're not really going to have a battle like in the campaign, a sort of coming. So I thought, well, let's just uh, set this up. And I thought, uh, sort of signifying the end of the Karasmian Empire. What I think is not too bad of an idea, right? At least I hope you enjoyed it. Not bad, right? bad at all. Yeah, it is done. The Garashmians are retreating, most of the units are wavering, even with filled men left, but their hearts have been destroyed. The general there, Sultan, also died in the battle, and now the Mongols are trying to even pursue them. The general as well has also gotten into some action trying to attack, but 
The Grushmans now are on their last legs and the end is near. For the Karashmin Empire, one less cavalry charge against these uh, guys in the back and getting absolutely slaughtered. Even these more elite units are also getting slaughtered. And now they have routed victory for the Mongo Empire again. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you think I did have a like, please leave a like. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you are new to the channel and want to keep updated with my latest videos and this campaign as well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.